So, today what I've got for you is a whole bunch of base or mid icon player picks. For cheap, fast and reliable foot coins, check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description and use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. If you enjoy this video, please leave a like down below and subscribe if you guys are new around here as it greatly helps me out. Hopefully you guys enjoy some of these insane icon player picks. Alright, next icon player pick. He's already got mid Eto and base Maradona and tradable. This is where the pack look is at, right here. This is the pack look. I knew it. Oh my word. Who do you pick? Obviously Zidane. I'm not even questioning that. It's got to be Zidane. Look at that, man. That is the most ridiculous icon player pick I've seen so far. Zidane, base best. Base Zidane, base best mid Sadorf. That's crazy. And Zidane fits literally perfectly into his team. That is the look right there. This guy is juiced. This guy is juiced. Absolutely super juiced. That is crazy, bro. That's crazy. If this player picks anything like the last one, my word, this would be ridiculous. But like, I don't think you can beat that last one because that last one was absolutely unheard of. All right. EA, right here. Can we see a mid Hullet or like a mid R9 or like a mid Croy or something like that? Right there. <gasps> Jeez, man. That is so bad. I'm 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 holding in my laughter because I don't want to make this guy feel bad, but that is just disgusting. I can't believe 800,000 coins for that. That is awful. My boy Wesley right here has come through with the content. Three base or mid icon player picks. Let's open these bad boys. All right, Wesley just hit a mid Cruyff in his last player pick. He's got three more. What are we saying? First one Clarence Seydorf is pretty good. He's definitely not worth the 800,000 coins that these player picks cost, right? But Clarence Seydorf's a good pull, in my opinion. What is what is mid Seydorf going for these days? About 500k? Small loss. Small loss on Seydorf. It's not, it's not terrible, though. It's not, it, it, you know, not great, but not terrible. He is about half a million coins. So there's a small loss on it, but, you know, Wesley's Dutch. So to get all the Dutch players there and tradable as well will be a W for him. All right. Second icon player pick right here. EA. Can we get a big pull? Here we go. Come on. Really? <laughs> really? Two mid Sadorfs? You got a million coins of mid Sadorf, I guess. Come on, man. You can't do that. EA. You can't do that to us. I'm guessing Zanetti's the, 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 the one, right? What are we saying, Wesley? I don't I don't think you want Bayes Nakata. Mate, what? That's come on, EA. You can't do that. You can't do that. Alright. Zanetti is the is the is the take there. Come on. Who's dub? Why are you moaning? Because we just got Sade off in the last one. That's why. Alright. Third and final player pick for Wesley. EA. EA gods. Shine upon us. R9 Hullet Pele. So one of those caliber. Bosh. Come on. That is that is really good. I, I know he's probably not worth the price of the pack anymore. But as a diehard Manchester United fan, as a huge Wayne Rooney fan, he's worth about 550k. Eto's good as well. Eto's good as well. Why is Eto worth these days? I mean, he's already got base Eto and tradable. I think he might already have mid Eto and tradable as well. 900k for Eto. But Rooney, from a Man United point of view, and someone who idolized Rooney growing up, I would be over the moon with a mid Rooney and tradable. Eto's also a massive W in that player pick as well. Overall, from three icon player picks, that is an L. If we're being honest, that is an L from three icon player picks. But, Rooney. So, you know, that's all you need to know. Big Waz dog. No, that's pretty bad, isn't it? All right, we're on Robert's share play. I think he's got an icon player pick and a mid icon pack, if I'm not mistaken. He definitely had a mid... Oh, is this an, is this an 86 plus foot champs player pick? My bad. All right. Foot champs player pick first. What we say, DA? Come on, big red pick. I thought that was Kante for a second. I thought for a brief second that's Kante. Foden, that's not great. I'll be honest with you. I've used that Foden. I wasn't a big fan. I wasn't a big fan of that of that Foden, unfortunately. Um, but you know, if you're a Man City fan or maybe you're English, you might be really happy with that Foden. I think he's got a mid icon pack as well, though. We're hoping for a big mid icon. We want to see Brazil, Dutch, French, even to an extent Portuguese, because you know Eusebio is a W as well. Go on, Robert. Can we get you a good icon? Or can you get you a good icon, I guess? I'm not even opening it. But here we go. Come on. Mid-icon pack. EA. Please. 
Who's that? Is that not that's not Overmars, is it? It's not even Overmars. It's is that Zambrotta? Wait, what? Oh, is that base or mid? It was a base or mid icon pack. I think it was some icon swaps. Base Zambrotta. It's at least usable. It's not, you know, price wise, it's bad. But from icon swaps, you haven't really spent anything on it. Just time. It's at least usable. That's all I can say about it is that it's usable. Apart from that, there's nothing else I can say about that. All right, EA. He's looking for a midfielder here, I think. We want to see a big dog midfielder right here. Come on. Can we get something good for him right here, please? Here we go. For Dylan. Come on. No big midfielder. These are so hit and miss. I don't think Stoichkov is awful as a player. I think price-wise, he's not worth a whole lot, is he? What's mid storage going for? He's not worth tons. He is about 420k. It's at least a usable card, but it's just not what you want to see, really. That's the that's the disappointing thing. You don't want to go and be like, oh, it's at least usable. You want someone that you, you're screaming over, to be fair. And that's just not it, is it? All right, let's do it, EA. Can we get something good? Here we go. Bash. Come on. Do you know what? That's actually a pretty good kind of set. Like, base Beckham's actually good in game. This Sanchez card is actually good in game as well. He's obviously not, you know, one of the cards you're looking for, but he's good. But Dalgleish is also pretty sick. Is Dalgleish still worth a little bit? I feel like he might be a bit cheap, given the fact that... Uh, yeah, about 500k. I feel like because he, he's not a new icon this year, like, he's not as expensive as he was in previous years. Um, but yeah, no, we'll take it. We'll take it. That is That is absolutely solid. I'm happy with Dalgleish. I'd have been happy with base Beckham, genuinely, for my ex main United team and whatnot. Um, but no, that is a solid pull. I am happy with that. Not quite worth the icon player pick price, but we'll take it. Crudian's gone and sent another one. He loves it. He absolutely loves it. Here we go. Can we get Crudian something good? The last one was so bad. So what I've, what I've realized with these, uh, with these icon player picks is sometimes I forget icons that are in this game i forgot larson even existed to be honest and perlo that's just that's just terrible that's just i mean you feel like if he does enough of them he's gonna get something good eventually but i don't know if that's actually gonna happen at this point we have another three base or mid icon player picks right now we're looking for some w's here please ea come on first one what are we saying most people would not be happy with socrates i however have a connection to Socrates because I used him back at FIFA 19 when I was hitting my best ever ranks in Weekend League. And I really enjoyed Socrates, personally. I actually really enjoyed this card. He's actually really good. But a lot of people see Socrates as being clunky and too tall and whatnot, so he's not the the the, the biggest of Ws. Um, personally, I think Socrates is, is a win in, in my book. I think Socrates is a win. But he's obviously not worth a lot. In fact, I do want to check price-wise because each of these is 800,000 coins, right? So Socrates is worth how much? Mid Socrates is worth 300k. Yikes. All right. Next one. That's a 500k loss right there. Next one. This isn't going well. That Larm and that Barnes are in so many of these player picks. Larm and Barnes are just everywhere, bro. Oh, man. If it was mid lam it'd be great, but it's not. All right, what's Beckham worth? Let me just double-check Beckham's price as well. Because he'll be very cheap because he had that SBC that was quite cheap. I reckon he's about 300k as well. 175,000 coins. Oh, my word. All right. Down the final one. We need a, an R9 or a Hullet or something like that to save this right here. Because this is really bad. So far... He's, had, he's got 500k worth of icons for 1.6 million coins spent. This will make it 2.4 million coins spent. Come on, please. I can't believe it. I think the most expensive one there will be Rykard. And I think he's about 200k as well. Two point... Oh my god. Seven... 700k worth of icons back for 2.4 million coins. He's made a that's a 1.7 million coin loss. That is just, 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 just god awful. That is just abysmal. All right, next icon player pick. I forgot who we got in the last one. It's been a while. Um, who did we get in the last one? Was it Dalglees the last one? I don't think it was. Was it? 
I can't remember. Anyway. That's just a base I can play a pick. That so where's the where's the mid part of that then? Where where's where's the mid part of that player pick? Because that's just a base player pick right there. Man. Men! I'm going to break my monitor, I swear. This might have to be my last one for this video on my account because we are mudded now for um for uh for fodder. So we're gonna have to go buy them and stuff like that, which we'll do at some point. Right. One of three base summit icons. Come on, EA. Right here. Let's go. Sometimes it may be good. Sometimes it may be this player pick right here. Um, that is just terrible, isn't it? That's is just awful. That's just just absolutely awful. I guess we'll take Crespo. That is absolutely terrible. Cheers, EA. Appreciate that, mate. Thank you very much. Hopefully, um, this this one's better than mine because my last one was terrible. All right. I, th I, I think you have to get... I don't even think you can get worse than the one I just got. Here we go. Come on. Come on. That is what we want. Mid Samueletto. That is a big W right there. What's he worth? Solid over a million coins still. That is what you want to see in these icon player picks right there. That's what makes them worth it, EA. Let's go. I can't I can't keep doing these on the RTG. All right. This is the last one I've got to do in the RTG until we re re inject the club with some fodder from League SPCs over Team of the Year. Uh, but we'll do more on the pay to win, I think, because I just, I'm committed. That's all I'm going to say. All right. Come on, EA. A midfielder or a striker would be ideal, but, you know, a defender would be nice as well. I mean, let's just see what we get. Let's just see what we get. Come on. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. But you asked for a midfielder. You asked for a defender. I don't care. All right. Roy Keane is not good. Oh, I, I'm gonna have to keep him. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna. Sorry. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to take him. But oh, man, 800k for Roy Keane. That's just so annoying, isn't it? That's just so. I mean, you could probably buy three of his primes for that. All right. We got Gray's player pick next. Come on, EA. All right. We've had a couple of stinkers in a row now. It's about time we got a W. Right here. He needs a striker as well. He did. He did. Well, he, he does need a striker, but not quite. Not quite Trezeguet, unfortunately. I mean, if you look at it objectively, you've got a couple of usable players, but barely usable. I think Hadji is good for another. I don't know. Three weeks. Xavi maybe a week and a half before the power curve catches up. As Fabrizio Romano says, "Here we go. Here we go again. Pay to win account this time. Obviously, I'm just gonna do a bunch on the pay to win account. I just." I just really like opening these, to be honest. All right. Come on, please. I mean, finally, we get a, a, a W on my account, on the pay to win account. It's pretty good. If that was 91 Dino, I would be all over that. But that eight, I've got this account. I've got this card on my RTG account. I'm sorry to say he's not good. The base one is. But the Puskas, mid Puskas, is very, very good. I'm very happy with that. Mid Pushkash. Mid Pushkash. He's over a million coins. Finally, we get something good. Thank you very much, EA. Let's do more. All right, we got another basal mid icon for Lil Homie. Okay, back to back W's, man. Okay. We're looking good. Back to back W's. Jeez. Okay. All right, EA. I respect it. I respect it. Cantona and Pushkash back to back. Okay. With Callum's pack look, I am fully expecting mid R9 or like a mid Zidane or or something of that caliber right here. I really am. With his icon pack look, what are we seeing in this base or mid for Callum right here? I knew he'd get something good. I actually knew it. I actually knew it. He's, his, his icon look is ridiculous. It's so good. His icon pack look is just utterly ridiculous, mate. Utterly, utterly ridiculous. That is a big W. This is definitely the last one I'm doing on my pay-to-win account for a little while. For at least at least another day. Because they're getting expensive. And I've, I'm already a million coins down and all my fodder gone. And all my players in the club gone. Alright. Come on, EA. Can we get a Hullet? Can we get an R9? Can we get a Cruyff? A Zidane as well would be very nice. Someone that gets in the team would be insane, to be fair. Here we go.
Or we could get that. Because that, you know, yeah. Uh, who am I taking here? Puyol for the fodder. He's going straight into an SBC. 